Well, a court in Russia has rejected an appeal by Wall Street Journal reporter Ivan Gershkovich against his continued detention on spying charges. The 31-year-old U.S. citizen was arrested in March while on a reporting trip. Gershkovich and the Wall Street Journal have denied he spied in Russia. The U.S. says he was wrongfully detained and is demanding his immediate release. Well, Al Jazeera's Yulia Shapovalova joins us live now from Moscow. So, Yulia, what more are you hearing from the courtroom? So the hearing has already finished, uh, but it did attract great, a great portion of international attention, Kerry. We even saw the arrival of the U.S. ambassador to Russia at the Moscow city court. So, as you said, the court extended the arrest of Evan Gershkovich till the end of August. Uh, his parents were allowed into the courtroom to support him, and they managed to talk with their son during a break. Uh, Gershkovich is facing espionage charges, meaning he can receive up to 20 years in jail. He was detained in the city of Yekaterinburg in Russia's Urals at the end of March, and later he was transferred to Moscow. The FSB claims that he was collecting secret information about one of the military industrial enterprises there. And also, according to the Kremlin spokesman, uh, Gershkovich was caught red handed. But uh, taking into account that he was arrested while leaving a restaurant, uh, that statement raises eyebrows, really. Uh, according to Evans' friends, uh, there in Yekaterinburg, he was gathering material for an article about what people of the Urals think about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, actually, all people here who have ever met him in person say that what a nice guy he is. His parents are USSR emigres in the US, and Evan himself is a huge fan of Russia. Uh, plus, his Russian is impeccable. Um, the US authorities, as well as Evan himself, consider the accusations baseless. Uh, there was also a letter signed by more than 30 world media outlets to the Russian ambassador to the US, demanding the release of Gershkovich. But probably things will slightly change in a positive way for Evan now, as right before today's hearing, there was a statement by Russia's deputy foreign minister, Sergei Ryabkov. And according to him, the U.S. request for consular access to Gershkovich has been received by the Russian side and is now being considered. And as of now, Evan will remain in the detention center here in Moscow for three more months. Yulia Shapovalov, live for us there from Moscow. Thank you.